crew member would. This week, Dallas businessman Victor Vescovo became the first person to reach the bottom of the Tongan Trench in the South Pacific Ocean. Back in April, he reached the deepest point anywhere on Earth when he made a solo trip into the Pacific Marina Trench. Our Christy Nelson caught up with Vescovo on a break between adventures. When Victor Vescovo is not home in Dallas, he's doing some pretty amazing things. By the end of this summer, Vescovo will have broken even more records as he works his way into Explorer history. Thank you all very much. The commencement address to the 2019 graduating class of St. Mark's School of Texas was delivered by an alum who knows what it means to dream big and then do it. There's a temptation to actually play it safe and make a nice speech about the future, about commitment and all these things. Victor Vescovo, the Dallas man who's climbed the highest peaks on every continent and now traveled to the deepest points of four and soon all of the world's oceans, led with this. I don't do safe. Get her done. Just about a month earlier, Vescovo was in the middle of a deep sea diving Get adventure up. that both made history and advanced Take science. His goal at this very moment you see here to reach the bottom of Challenger Deep within the Mariana Trench, a depth of 35,853 feet. Once you're below about five meters, it's very quiet and very calm. And you can't even tell you're moving unless you're looking outside the portal and seeing the bubbles go up. And then you just go down for many, many hours. This video, filmed for part of an upcoming Discovery Channel documentary series, shows the moment Vescovo reached the deepest point any human has ever gone in the ocean. At bottom, repeat, at bottom bottom. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. At the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Vescovo spent four hours there in the state-of-the-art titanium submersible limiting factor. His job there included observing for scientific purposes, but he also took time to bask in the achievement itself. You do need to stop sometimes and really appreciate where you are and be fully present in the moment to fully appreciate it. Just to turn off the thrusters, kick back and just appreciate where I was and how extraordinary the effort was to get there. And that's what I did. And I ate a tuna fish sandwich while I slowly uh, drifted across the bottom of the ocean and looked out the portal. It was great. That was the best part. He witnessed life thriving in darkness and the intense pressure of the deep sea. And were you surprised when you actually saw signs of life? Yes. Because there have been descriptions of the bottom of the oceans that they look like moonscapes or they're, they look sterile, but they're not. Within just a couple of minutes of getting to the bottom of the Challenger Deep, the deepest point on this planet, I saw a translucent, what turns out to be a sea cucumber, although it was flat. And I, at first I thought it was a carcass, but it was actually undulating and swimming away from me. And as on all his adventures, Vescovo's Texas flag was along for the ride. Of course I had my Texas flag with me. I was born and raised right here in Dallas. I'm a very proud Texan. I've carried a Texas flag up every mountain I've climbed, and it's now uh, been down to every ocean as well. This trip to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, monumental in so many ways. Before our series of dives last month, there had been two visitations to the bottom of the Challenger Deep in 59 years. We went to the bottom of the Mariana Trench five times in 10 days. So we're very, very proud of the technical achievement that we were able to accomplish. And we hope that this system is deployed over the next 10 or 20 years regularly for scientific uh, purposes. Highest peaks, lowest depths, what comes next? Uh, because I'm a Texan, I'm going to have a big margarita. And <laughs> then I'll think about maybe doing something else. I may go back to mountaineering for a bit, but I would love to go into space. And that could mean joining planned passenger flights into space or just doing it himself. Then I'll probably try and figure out how to build a device that can get me up into orbit and uh, accomplish it that way. I don't care if it takes three or four years. I've done it before. I'll try and do it again. This journey to reach the bottom of all five oceans has been underway for years. The expedition concludes later this summer. Once Vescovo and the Five Deeps expedition reached the deepest point of the Arctic Ocean, the Malloy Deep. Back to you. All right, Christy Nelson reporting. And that Discovery Channel special airs later this year. And you can follow the Five Deeps expedition as they travel to the Arctic Ocean. We've got a link to the Five Deeps Ex expedition live tracker on our website at NBCDFW.com.